the incunable that's in the exhibit, the crescenzi, I have actually shown it, um, you know, to groups um, several times, but I just took the time to really carefully look through it. And, and it is, I mean, besides the fact that it's in an original binding, which is, which is wonderful, it's really a great work. It's the first printed work on agriculture, and it has these truly charming woodcuts including um, one of the ones that we used in the catalog is just of plants growing with sunshine. <laughs> I mean, it's a little hard to describe, but it's a very charming uh, little woodcut. And Stan Bevington, who designed the catalog, incorporated a number of those, and they're um, also depicted on the cover. Philip Miller was an extraordinary gardener, probably one of the greatest plantsmen who ever lived, 18th century gardener. He was so influential on everyone who came after him, and everyone had a copy of his dictionary. Um, and we have, I think, four works by him on display. So we had the, the Catalogus Plantarum. He was instrumental in that. He was one of the London nurserymen who issued that. And then the following year, the first edition of his Dictionary of Gardening which uh, came out in multiple editions throughout his lifetime, including pirated versions, and we have um, one of the Dublin pirated versions as well. It's not in the exhibition, um, but uh, his figures of plants, so this was an illustrated volume that was sort of meant to accompany the dictionary to some extent, um, and also his calendar, so his gardening calendar, so four different works by him, and. He really did have a profound influence. And um, the number of plants that flowed into, the, into Britain during the period that he was working. So he spent about 50 years at Chelsea, at the Chelsea Physic Garden. And I think the number of plants described in his dictionary doubled during that time. So such an interesting figure. I really would have to mention the Rochester Nurseryman sample book, which is in one of the cases in the in the reading room. That's not something that you're going to come across very frequently. So it has over 200 colored plates. They're put together in a very unusual format, and they fold up into a little, probably something about the size of a of a small laptop or an iPad. And this would have been taken around to various uh, farms and households um, and it would it was a salesman's tool so they would use it to try to sell nursery stock um, it's really interesting for a number of different reasons and from the sort of book history end you can see because they were put together over a period of time that they used various techniques of printmaking to produce those pr prints and as um, items were discontinued and new ones were added, they would just print a new image and um, paste it over the old one. So some of the earliest ones are, they might even be a sort of pochoir technique and then it goes right into photomechanical by the end. So it's a very interesting document uh, from that point of view and in, you know, pretty remarkable condition.